ones where I look back and everybody just went, oh, was in the moment when everything was smoking and, and you hit this kind of alpha state where nobody's talking and everybody's just grooving and you know it's cooking and then the engineer stops you and says, I'm really sorry, but the machine failed. In today's world, there's, there's, a, there's a computer crash and it's just slamming and there's nothing you can do. That's really the only time when it's, you, you, you feel like a twinge of, oh, I wish this was different. Because I've had some circumstances with some very difficult personalities and it still wasn't a bad recording session for some reason for me. Usually with people that are real pros pros, and they're, which means somebody that's just relaxed and open. Just a bunch of players that are educated and, and seasoned and uh, the artist and the engineer and the producer have done it for so long that they're all relaxed and, and just know what's to be expected and everything is flowing and easy going. That, that's the most fun sessions to do. The best recording sessions I've done consistently have been with Linda Perry at Kung Fu Gardens at her studio, playing bass for her because of the level of commitment to musicality. It's all about excellence with her, but it's unique and special because her method of working changes all the time depending on what her end result is and she allows for it to change. So there's no template, but there's some things that are consistent. It's always creative, it's always challenging, and it's always in the best interest of the song and the artist. So whenever a challenge presents itself, you know that you're working for the common good. Another high point for me was playing on tracks for Tina Turner's as still to be released record and recording with Tina Turner live in the studio. Playing with her live was pretty amazing. That was special. Uh, those two are high points. If a temperamental artist is there and uh, they have their ideas of how it should be and um, not really uh, keying in on what a seasoned musician or producer might bring to it and allowing it just to happen or their ideas to happen. The hardest thing for me to do in a recording environment is play world music and odd time signatures. To this day, I'm baffled by a lot of music that I didn't grow up listening to. Even though I listened to a fair amount of Prague and Fusion when I was a kid and tried to play it, I still have a hard time with sevens, nines, elevens, fives I'm getting better at.